Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, that's right. It's Monday night and good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with this picture from Jennifer Ackerwood. She says, yeah, it's not a little breezy and wobbly, but I tell you what, it was a very pretty day and I agree with her. This was a sunset tonight. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Meanwhile, let me show you another cool picture that comes from Destiny uh, Court, Court, uh, Cont, 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 I had this the other, Conteras. Contreras. Anyway, um, cool looking shot. She says a family of seven owls. I can see two of them right there. Destiny, a really cool looking shot. Thanks for sending that our way. Meanwhile, here's what's happening out there in Billings right now. Currently, we do have uh, 73 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the southwest at 13. And our reported high today, bam, 89 degrees, almost 90. 73 is your normal high. The record was 92 back in 1988. Record low was 32 back in 1951. And as far as precipitation, we wound up with one one hundredth of an inch of rain today. That's where we sit for the month, so we're a little bit behind for the month, but still way ahead of normal for the year. At 772, only need to be a little over six inches. And you'll notice here our current temperatures generally into the 60s and 70s right now out in the west. Uh, across the high line, still into the 70s. A little cooler over here in the east into the 60s. Billings, one of the warmer spots at 73. Northern Wyoming also into the 60s at this hour. And as you'll see here, our reported highs today. Look at how hot it got. 89 at Haver, 95 at Glasgow. It was 93 over at uh, Williston, North Dakota. Upper 80s back here in the east, out in the west generally low 80s to uh, mid to upper 70s. It was 78 over Butte today, 75 at Dillon, 82 over Missoula. And as you'll see on the Doppler radar, we had some spotty showers kind of move through the Billings area, but they have since kind of moved out of the area or they have dissipated altogether. As we pull back, you'll see there's even a few spotty showers here towards the southwest. I think these guys will not come our way. They'll continue to head in towards Wyoming, probably into the uh, Grand Teton Range or maybe even Yellowstone Park. We'll pull back a little farther and show you what's, what's happening today. Uh, monsoon moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico into the uh, New Mexico and the Four Corner States continues to push its way back up in towards uh, the Dakotas tonight. Also, we had an upper level low pressure cell here, slinging a little moisture in towards southwestern Montana. That's where our showers came from today. And as you'll see, we also had a cold front. Here's the cold front moving through, warm front moved through earlier on. That's why we zoomed up into the upper 80s. Now, later tonight, this cold front will continue to push into the region, kind of cool us off. We actually had a little what we call prefrontal warming. That's warm air that moves out of front of these cold fronts and it cooked us up today. That moves on. Tomorrow, here comes some more pre frontal warming and another cold front behind that. And if that wasn't enough, here comes another cold front behind that and some prefrontal warming as well. So we're really warm up again into the upper 80s by the time Wednesday gets here again. So all of this brings some spotty afternoon splash and dash showers each day. As far as precipitation billings, about 1500. So I think that's all we're going to get out of this. Most of the rain will stay across the southern part of the state. Uh, northern Wyoming probably going to see uh, about a half an inch over at uh, places like Sheridan, maybe almost half an inch of Worland. But billings about 1500, maybe 16 of Livingston, 1300 to Bozeman. Then tomorrow, or I should say tonight we cool back down to the 40s and 50s out west with clear skies back here in the east, also into the 50s and 60s for overnight lows. Then for tomorrow we get back up into the 80s one more time. 83 in Billings, 84 in Hardin in the far west, 70s and 80s out there, and everybody gets to enjoy mostly sunny skies. But for Billings tonight, mostly clear skies, 58 degrees. We had a 20% chance for thunderstorms the evening. I think those have moved and moved out of the area, so that's not going to be an issue tonight. And then for the next three days, how about 80s? Look at that 89 by Thursday. Slight chance for some late today showers then as we head into Friday we cooled back down to 73 also a good chance of rain on Saturday and Sunday 68 on Monday so we'll roll back into the 60s as we head into next week let's go back to the desk